So I went to school um, and had a, studied marketing, business marketing to be exact, um, and kind of always enjoyed the event planning side of things. So I had a few internships. Um, my first internship was at the Illinois Beef Association and did a lot of their director, um, worked alongside the director of communications um, and did their, worked at the state fair, did their show, the IJBA show, um, and kind of really found a passion for making things on paper come to life. And so um, after IBA, I moved north, married a farmer, and worked for uh, Calmer Cornheads as their farm show manager. And that's kind of really where I got my foot into the door into the farm show space. Um, learned a lot from them, traveled many miles, and then had the opportunity to come to Precision Planting in 2019 and be their event manager. So always really enjoyed that side of it. And so what all do you take care of for Precision Planting? So my role, um, I take care of, um, I have an awesome team who works with me to make sh all this happen, but we're kind of the team that handles any type of event. So whether that's farm shows or guests coming into the office, events at our PTI farm, um, dealer trainings, dealer events, you name it, it kind of all funnels through our um, office. So if anybody has been at a precision planning exhibit or show, they have seen your fingerprints. In some way, shape, or form, yes. So it's not just me, it's an, it's an awesome team. I could not do it by myself by any means, but we just really enjoy, I enjoy creating um, an experience for the farmer and the guests, um, whether that be at a farm show or a winter conference, um, just creating an, an environment where, we, um, where farmers can learn. And in how, how much, what sort of work and planning people come in and see and think this is great, but you've got a lot of hours and thought behind that. What all goes into putting it together? So for the Farm Progress Show, I mean, many, probably in February, we started having, I mean, everything is booked way further in advance than that. Um, but starting the planning process of what do we want to show? What do we kind of want our story in the booth to be? And what do we want the farmer to leave with? And so that's kind of like what we, the three things we kind of start that um, conversation with. And this year was a big one because it was kind of the visual launch of PTX. So the first time that Precision Planting and PTX Trimble was going to be under one space. And so that kind of started those conversations. And so we kind of went for the like solutions to every season. Um, and so we kind of went through, I mean, as you can see in this space, we kind of went through every season of the crop cycle and the products that we offer for the solutions for those um, seasons within that. So we had a land optimization, planting, seeding, and that's kind of how we made it all work um, to tell the story of, of what we're offering. Between when you, the time when you started and the show, suddenly your company got a new name. Mm -hmm. That had to be a, a way we need to back up and start all over again. Correct. So um, through that time, we, you know, Precision Planting got, we're still Precision Planting, but we got a new brand, branding um, look and feel. And so that was another um, added layer. And then, you know, the, the PTX. And so we were all gonna be funneled under the PTX umbrella. And so just kind of taking three steps back and trying to figure out, whoa, okay, so we need new look and feel, new branding, and to make sure we still show up the way that Precision Planting always has um, was something that we believe throughout the space here, we, we kind of, we nailed in that perspective. In putting a, an event like the Farm Progress Show together, um, you, you have a grass lot, mm -hmm. and you've got to start from the ground up. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? So, we, so it is, it's a, it is a bare lot that comes in, um, and so you kind of, there's several vendors that you work with out here, and so you have your landscaping company, then you have your flooring company, then you have your tent company, then you have your electrical company, and all those, um, I contract all that out, but you all have to make sure they're going in the same order. You can't have your electric company come before your tent company. And so just making sure all that's communicated and planned, um, and then you almost kind of bring, a, it takes weeks to plan and weeks to put together. We started on site, you know, a week before the show even opened, um, unloading everything, and we were tore down by Friday at noon. <laughs> it's crazy how fast it all comes down. And 
And suddenly weather came down and you got mud in tearing it down. Yes, yes. So that added a layer of complexity to the teardown. I was there were some storms that blew through Thursday night, which thankfully it wasn't during the show um, that that happened. But then you're just dealing with mud. So your crates are in mud, your telehandlers are in mud, and it just it just added um, a level of complexity, but nothing we couldn't handle. When it's all over, what, how, what kind of a breath do you take and say, I'm glad it's over? Yeah, so that was me Friday. When I got into the truck, headed home, um, back to Henry County, it was kind of like, it's more of a, I enjoy the bare space, bringing it to something and then tearing it all down. It's kind of like a secret adrenaline rush for me. Um, but it was kind of like, yes, yep, that was uh, the biggest space we've ever done, the new look and feel, um, and we worked as a team and pulled it all off. And so it was a rewarding experience. And so now we uh, work on Husker Harvest Days.